guys and gals, and welcome to the daily 4 minute and 30 second news report with Thomas Padnone. And today we will be covering Lyme disease. And as you may have heard, it has been spreading throughout America. Now, as you may have heard, cases of Lyme disease have risen throughout the US. Now let's start with the basics. Lyme disease is an infectious disease caused by the black-legged tick, and it is most prevalent during late spring and summer. As you can see on this map, the Mid-Atlantic and the New England regions, as well as Minnesota and Wisconsin, are very high in Lyme disease cases. Lyme disease cases are high in these areas because ticks thrive in warm and humid areas, and during the summer, these places are very warm and humid. A good way to see if you have Lyme disease is to see if there's a red bullseye around the place where the tick bit you. But do not let this be your deciding factor if you have Lyme disease or not, because 20% of people do not have this rash where they were bit. Now, early symptoms of Lyme disease include many symptoms of the flu, such as colds, fevers, and just a general body illness. But it also includes symptoms such as joint pain, muscle pain, headaches, and a stiff neck. Now, if you continue not to tell a medical professional about these first symptoms, you can later develop many other symptoms, including numbness or pain in your nerves, meningitis, heart problems which can cause lightheadedness or fainting, and paralysis and weakness in your muscles of the face. Now, if you have these symptoms of Lyme disease or the red bullseye around where you're bit, go to a doctor immediately. They will prescribe you with the antibiotics on the screen. If you have the early symptoms of Lyme disease, they will prescribe you with one week's worth of antibiotics. But if you have the later Lyme disease symptoms, they'll prescribe you with about a one, one month's worth of antibiotics. To prevent Lyme disease from happening, listen to these steps. Number one, avoid tall grassy areas. Number two, wear light colored clothing so that when a tick gets on you, you can spot it with ease. Number three, wear long sleeve shirts and long sleeve pants so that the tick has a harder time invading your body. Number four, wear bug repellents such as D so that the tick will repel from you. Number five, when you return home, make sure you check every part of your body, especially the scalp, that's very important. And number six, make sure to shower immediately so that you can get the ticks off of you immediately. Now let's put Lyme disease into a real life situation. Let's say a man named Jimmy is bit by a black legged infected tick and the saliva of the tick gets through the first offense of the skin into the bloodstream now Jimmy is infected with Lyme disease. Jimmy, after a week, faces the early symptoms of Lyme disease, especially the fever, which shows that the second layer of defense, the inflammatory response, is kicking in. Let's say weeks or months after the bacteria has gotten through the second layer of defense and now is against the third layer of defense of the immune response in the T cells and B cells. And now they won't give up but they might battle for a long time. And so maybe months or years after, Jimmy is now facing the later symptoms of Lyme disease. And that is not good. Now let's say Jimmy had a friend named Bobby who went through the same story as him, except when he had the early symptoms of Lyme disease, he called a medical professional and the, and the medical professional prescribed him with the needed antibiotics for fighting Lyme disease. And he became better within two weeks. It's that easy, people. That'll be all for Thomas Patton Gnome's daily news report. Now, I hope you have a great rest of your day and watch for those ticks.